Hello, thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You. My name is Sylvia Black, licensed real estate broker and owner of affordable homes and apartments in Williamsville. And I'm licensed to preach and ordained as a minister. And I want to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You, which airs every Wednesday, 6.30 to 7 p.m. right here on Time Warner Public Access TV Channel 20. And on Saturdays from 12.30 to 1 p.m. right here on Time Warner Public Access TV Channel 20. And I want to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate Religion and You. Today we're going to talk about uh, real estate issues and I'm going to go over some of the listings that we have available for you to rent. Now we have some apartments available for rent and we have some houses for sale. But basically we really want to talk about home ownership. And I want to address some of the questions and answers, uh, some of the questions that have been imposed upon me in terms of first time home buyer. I really encourage first time home buyer opportunities, especially in the low to moderate income individuals and families, uh, is because our income tax time is approaching. And instead of buying, you know, 20, 50, 60 inch televisions, uh, you can take that 10 grand and you can buy a house with it. You know, I mean, don't blame, you know, society for, you know, you're not making financial ends meet when you get some money in your pocket and you spend it on, you know, uh, bling bling, you know, and then you don't have no ching chat. Okay, come on, somebody talk to me up in here. <laughs> Uh, you can visit my website for affordablehomesanddepartments.com and also um, my religious website is highwaytoheavenchurch.net for any of my religious books and my real estate books you can visit affordablehomesanddepartments.com and also you can visit my YouTube address at sblack3001 at gmail.com Now as you know I have a house that's available for sale uh, it's in Lockport at 45 South Street it is a two family house and it needs a little work uh, for more information on that, you can contact me at 716-602-7213. Uh, we have a couple of two-bedroom apartments available. Uh, two upper apartments. One is in the, both of them are in the Eggett Road, uh, West Cleveland Drive vicinity. Okay, and they both live, have living room, dining room, kitchen, uh, eating kitchen, and a bathroom and two large-sized bedrooms and a porch. Okay, they're both unfurnished, no utilities, no appliances are included. And uh, for, for more information on those apartments, please contact me again at 716-602-7213. Uh, one has carpeting and the other one has hardwood floors. Again, there will be some more coming up in that area as well in the Eggert Road, West Cleveland Drive vicinity. I also have a two-bedroom upper living room, dining room, kitchen, on the east side on uh, Rodney Avenue, uh, not over by uh, the um, not over by the park or the, the shopping the old shopping district over there, not it's closer to Fillmore. Okay, and then also have a two and a half, one and a two and a half bedroom, one and a half bath, uh, lower apartment which is uh, excellently superbly renovated. Has slot one room has a sliding door to it, and like I said, it has two and a half bedrooms and one and a half bath okay and that's also available for rent for any more information on those apartments uh, I have one also on Leroy a two bedroom upper uh, this one on Leroy has appliances included and it's superbly renovated as well it's a great apartment um, it's well managed and maintained and for more information you can contact affordable homes and apartments at 716-602-7213 now some of the houses that we have available for sale, uh, we have an excellent house on Millicent Road. This house is a great, uh, next time I'll probably be narrating it while I actually show you footage. Uh, but this will sort of spur of the moment kind of thing um, as God leads me, you know. <clears throat> this house is on Millicent Road and this is a first time home buyer home. Um, it's excellently priced, it's very low price. Um, it's either you can have all cash or you can be pre-qualified for a mortgage. Now, I know a lot of people don't know about the mortgage process, um, you know, so what, what I do is I meet you at the premises, show you the house, and, um, you know, we have some books and literature that we offer you, okay, and also we take an application at that time, and we help you and show you, you know, talk to you about the type of, of mortgage that you're going to need for this type of particular house. Now, briefly, I'm just going to go over some of the other houses that, that are available for sale. And again, for information on these houses, please contact Affordable Homes and Apartments at 716-602-7213.
Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 9 to 3. Okay, we have a house on Hewitt Avenue. Okay, it's a three bedroom, one bath, five room, single family house. This is off of Eggert Road. Okay, it's a uh, lot size is 3,240 square feet. Okay, it is a the total square footage of the house is 1,065 square feet. And it was built in 1924. Okay, we have a house on Westgate Road in Kenmore. Okay, that's between Elmwood and Delaware. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. Okay, it's uh, total square footage is 2,054 square feet for the house. Okay, and it was built in 1927. Okay, and that's more recently built, I guess. Not, but they both were built recently. Okay, and we have one, the one on Millicent, as I was telling you earlier. That's a three bedroom, one bath, six room house, single family house. It does have a garage. Uh, the square footage of the house is 1,354 square feet. It was built in 1929. Okay, uh, now we have a house on, well actually it's a uh, co-op condominium. It's on Wayne Terrace in Buffalo. It's a two bedroom, one bath, five room, upper unit, co-op condominium. It's 750 square feet, it has carpeting and an assigned parking space. It was, the building was built in 1966. And it is preferably for an owner occupant, just as the house on Millicent is. And I'll talk to you in detail about what that means uh, shortly. Um, the lot size is, I think it's the, the house size, I believe, the apartment size is 435 square feet. Okay. And it was built, the building was built in 1970. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, no buses run over there. You're going to need a car to get to that location. Okay, so we also have a house on Evergreen Place, and that's in Cheek to Wagga. This is a two bedroom, one bath, single family house, 928 square feet. Okay, it's a single family, single story house. Um, I believe it's considered, I believe it's like a ranch style, yeah, ranch style house. Okay, it was built in 1930. Okay, we have no car to get there, you can't get there by bus. It's in the Maryvale School District. It's a ranch style, the roof is made out of shingles. Okay, and it was built in 1930. Okay, it's a maintenance-free exterior, a large eating kitchen with a walk-in pantry and a laundry room, a detached one-car garage with stairs to the loft storage area. Okay, and a fully fenced-in backyard. And this one is on Evergreen Place in Chittawaga, New York. We also have a house on Davy Street in Buffalo, New York. Okay, a three-bedroom, one-bath, single-family house. It has three bedrooms, one bath. I said that seven rooms. Okay, um, the lot size is three thousand nine hundred and twenty square feet. Okay, and the total square footage of the house is one thousand two hundred and sixteen square feet. And it was built in nineteen thirty. Okay, we also have a house on Walden Avenue, which is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, single family house, which can be converted to a two family. The house size is 1,793 square feet. Okay, it has off-street parking and a formal dining room. Okay, and the home needs minor repairs. Um, the total square footage is 1,793 square feet and it was built in 1900 and it has a full basement. Okay. And we also have a house on Kirkwood Drive in West Seneca, New York. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, a single family house. It has nine rooms and the lot size is 9,147 square feet. That's a big lot. Okay, and the size of the house is 2,117 square feet. So you got about 7,000 square footage of lot that surrounds the house. Okay, this is in West Seneca. Okay, now um, it's a single family and it was built in 1950. That was more recent. Okay, for more information on any of the houses that I have available for sale and the, all the apartments that we have for rent, please contact Affordable Homes and Apartments at 716-602-7213 Monday through Friday 9 to 9 and Saturday 9 to 3. Okay, that's 716-602-7213. Okay, we also have a house on Kibler Drive in Depew, New York. 
Okay, it's a two bedroom, one bath, 875 square foot, single family house. It has five rooms. It's a ranch style, so it's a single family, single story, ranch style with brick exterior and shingle roofing. It has hardwood floors and one parking space. It was built in 1961. This all brick ranch situated in the pew, but located and sought after Lancaster School District has a full basement and a detached garage. And that one is on Kibler Drive in Depew, New York. Okay, we also have one on Morgan Parkway in Hamburg, New York. That's Morgan Parkway in Hamburg, New York. This is a three bedroom, two bath, single family house. 900 square feet, it has six rooms. The lot size is 45 by 120. And it is a tri-level style house. The exterior is vinyl and it has a shingle roof and ceramic vinyl flooring. It has two parking spaces and a full, full but partially finished basement. Okay. Uh, okay, maintenance is a free exterior. It has a deck shed, partially fenced in yard, circuit breakers, copper pipe, uh, plumbing. And that's, again, that's on Morgan Parkway in Hamburg. Here we also have a house on Austin Street in Buffalo, New York. There's a three bedroom, two bath, single story house. It has 1,172 square feet of house. The lot size is 2,613 square feet. Okay, it's in the Buffalo School District, the subdivision of Parish. It is a new traditional style baseboard heating. It does have carpeting throughout. And it was built in 1900. Okay, and this one is off of Military Road near Grant. This is on Austin in Buffalo, New York. We also have a house on Garrison Road in Buffalo, New York. Two bedroom, two bath, a single family house. It's 1,424 square feet. Great village location, village shopping, restaurants, major highways. Sort of reminds me of New York City when they said a village, you know. <laughs> But you ain't gonna find nothing in the village price is like this. Okay, it has village shops, restaurants, major highway schools, and the airport. Picturesque yard and lots of character. Vinyl siding has hardwood floors, fireplaces on the first floor. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the family room could become a third bedroom and it has does have recent improvements to include the vinyl siding, circuit breakers, uh, copper piping, the furnace, and hot water tank. Okay. And again, this was on Garrison Road in Buffalo, New York. And of course, we have a house on Beard Avenue. This is a beautifully architecturally architectural gem. It has fantastic character. Elegance, chine charm of a bygone era. It is on Beard Avenue in New York, Buffalo, New York. A five bedroom, three and a half bath. Has almost 5,000 square feet. Ooh. This is a big house. <clears throat> okay, this massive Victorian style house features a wraparound front porch looking out over its corner lot. Beautifully inlaid hardwood floors, lots of natural hardwood and built-in features throughout the first floor living room area where you will find an incredible entry area. Massive living room, sitting room, den, could be the first floor bedroom, dining room, full bath and a kitchen. The second floor has a laundry room and three bedrooms, including the huge master bedroom that is direct access to the spacious full hallway bath with a whirlpool tub and separate shower stall. The third floor has a large central room, full bath, and two other rooms that may have been used as bedrooms at one time. The recently updated kitchen, first and second floor baths, greatly add to the function of this elegant architectural gem. Okay. Again, that's uh, for more information on these properties, contact affordablehomesandapartments.com at 716-602-7213. And we have other houses available for sale. Now we have some apartments, we have some luxury style apartments available. And these apartments we have, uh, let's see, have it separate. We have a luxury apartment downtown. Alrighty, and we 
I guess we'll go over that some other time. Okay, here it is. Alrighty, now. Okay. Uh, we have a two bedroom, one bath, which is 979 square feet of house. Okay, uh, and this particular one, this is downtown. Okay, and this, um, let's see, the utilities. Rent includes water, trash, and one on site parking space. Tenant pays for phone, gas, cable, and electric. Okay, and we have another two bedroom, one bath, which is 1,423 square feet. Okay, and the rent also includes water, trash, and on site parking. Uh, this one is on Delaware Avenue. We have another luxury apartment, uh, which is also on Delaware Avenue. We have a studio. Okay, for 700, uh, oops, um, we have a studio apartment, okay, and the rent includes water, gas, and electric. A tenant pays phone, cable, and air conditioning. Okay, and we have another apartment in the same building. Okay, and the utilities, the rent includes, all utilities are included also in this one. And this one is also on Delaware, off of West Ferry Avenue. Okay, and then we have another three bedroom, two bath apartment. Okay, and all utilities are included with this one as well. Okay, and this one is on Linwood Avenue. These are luxury apartments. Okay, we have another one on Delaware and North Street. Okay, and that one is a studio apartment. Okay, and utilities, all utilities are included. Alrighty. And just to name a few, we have um, in Niagara Falls, we have a couple of luxury apartments, two bedroom, one bath. Okay, 1,249 square feet. Rent includes water, trash, and two gated parking spaces. Tenant pays phone, gas, and electric. Okay, <clears throat> now we have another one downtown Buffalo. <clears throat> one bedroom, one bath, which is 1,197 square feet. And the utilities are the same. No utilities are included in this one either. And we have one on North Street, which is a studio apartment, 770 square feet of space. Okay, and no utilities included. Uh, yeah, no utilities are included in this one as well. And then we have what we call, I call a doctor's residence. This is for if you're a doctor, a physician, a lawyer even, you know. Uh, this will be an excellent resident for you. It's in the it's in the Williamsville Village area, off of Main Street, and these are luxury apartments. They have washer and dryer, um, parking garage, and a dishwasher. Okay, and these are available immediately if you're interested in any, any of these apartments, any of these luxury apartments, or any of the houses that we mentioned here. Please contact Affordable Homes and Apartments at 716-602-7213. And I want to thank you for joining me for Real Estate Religion and You. And my name is Sylvia Black, licensed real estate broker of affordable homes and apartments, licensed real estate brokerage firm. If you wish to sponsor this organization, you can do so by purchasing some of the books that we have available. And you can visit my website at affordablehomesandapartments.com for more information on the books that I have available. Or you can email me at sblack3001 at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send you a list. Now, income tax time is, is vastly approaching us, <clears throat> and it's advisable, hopefully, that a lot of you that are watching can become homeowners this year. If you don't do it to do it for yourself, do it for your children. If you don't want to do it for your children, do it for your grandchildren. Okay, and then we're going to address some of the questions that have been asked in terms of homeownership. Okay? Don't know if we'll be able to go over them all. But I have a hundred questions here, and actually this book is available for you when you come, when you call me up about a house that I have available for sale, a lot of times people don't know where to go, who to talk to, what have you. Sometimes I'll screen you, I'll try to screen as, as much as I can over the phone because, you know, as a real estate broker, we're in business to make money, okay? And we can't make money if you don't have any money. So the object is to try to help you to find as much money as we can help you find so that we can make our commission and you can have a home of your own and everybody's happy. Now I know first time home buyership is sometimes a complex issue. I know when I first became licensed as a real estate broker I had found so many interesting things and in the class that I was taught um, and I had asked when I first was trying to look for work 
um, at other real estate companies as a sales agent, I would ask them questions about certain programs that I learned about in class, and they would look at me and say, what? So I said, you know what, it's best I'll keep it to myself until I find a way that I can explore it and I can just teach it to the people that need to know about it. Because I didn't want to teach what I know to another real estate broker unless, of course, you're paying me. Now, a lot of times these apartments, most times the owner or the property manager or the landlord will pay our commission. Sometimes we charge an application fee and sometimes we don't. Sometimes the owner does not want to pay us uh, a brokerage commission. But we would still like to be able to introduce you to the apartment. And in that case, you, the tenant, would be required to pay our broker's commission, which is usually equivalent to a half of a month's rent. Okay? Now, what we are putting together, affordable homes, what I'm doing is we're putting together a book of apartments that will include subsidized apartments and it will include luxury apartments. These apartments will include landlords, property managers, apartment buildings, as well as single and multifamily apartments. Like, in other words, a one-family house, if you look, you might want to live in a two-family house, or a four-family house, or there might be apartment complexes that have apartments. I know some, some people may be, you may be a do-it-yourself, but you don't want to work with a real estate broker. You, don't, you want to do it on your own. Well, we're composing a book that you can actually obtain from affordable homes and apartments. Um, and it will be listing uh, um, as many apartments, we're, we're putting in as many apartments as we can, and we'll be constantly updating the list. So we'll be putting in apartments we have, we're getting from various websites, we've done an extensive search and it's still not enough of a search because we are constantly adding and updating this. And some of the, most of the apartments that are in the book are apartments where the landlord does not want to pay our commission. So we put these information in there where you can actually go and look for the apartment yourself. It'll have the phone number of the landlord, it'll have the rent, the location of the name of the landlord, how much they, whether it includes gas, electricity, whether it has appliances included or whatever the case it, that it may be, that it may have available. Okay, so, uh, you know, we want to include you in that process. Okay, and that, that, that book will be available to you. When you come to one of the houses that we have available for sale, uh, what we will do is we will have, not really an open house, but we will just have a, a couple of different people, maybe four or five, or however many people want to come, and we'll show you the house, and at that time we'll have the book available for you that will have the different apartments available uh, for rent um, as well as, and, and I'll have other books with me that will talk, one book that I wrote is called Free Money for Home Buyers that talks about grants, uh, sub, uh, purchase subsidies and what have you. So if you come to me for an apartment, I'll have a book of apartments. If you don't want to pay a broker's commission, I have a book you can look on your own. You can take your time and it will have subsidized apartments as well. It'll tell you whether the, whether the apartment is subsidized or whether it's not, what subsidy it accepts, whether it's um, you know governmental subsidized, whether it's state subsidy.